Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. And today we're taking a look at the grid. The grid is interesting in Capture One. It is part of the toolbar, but it is also a tool. And these two things are meant to work in conjunction with each other. So let me show you how this works. Up here in the toolbar, I have the grid viewer. And this is going to allow me to see a grid for the purposes of controlling my crop. Now, the grid view is meant to work with the grid tool. I I've went ahead and added it to my refine tool tab, but of course putting it inside of adjust or color or wherever you are when you tend to start cropping your image is an appropriate place. What we're going to notice about the grid tool is first and foremost, you have three different shapes that you can view in order to make cropping decisions. The first one is a rule of thirds grid in a rectangle. The next one is the golden ratio. And the third one is the Fibonacci spiral. Once I have a particular shape of my grid or overlay placed, I can actually decide what color the lines show up. And I have several different bold colors I can choose for whatever actually is visible on the particular image I'm looking at. If I'm looking at something asymmetrical, I'm going to have the ability to alter the way that it manifests so that I can position the Fibonacci spiral or the golden ratio or whatever exactly in the way that's going to line up with the subject matter of my image. I also have the ability to have it follow the crop if I am going to come in and crop an individual image. I want to make sure that I can position parts of my grid pattern appropriately and that's absolutely fine. I also have the ability to have this be shown or not. The reason for this last option is if you decide to have the grid just turned on permanently up here, you can have the grid view show up just through the tool and never have to touch the part of the toolbar. Use this in conjunction with the crop tool here inside of your cursor tools in order to have a lot of control over the way that you crop your image and have the elements of the image show up in an aesthetically pleasing manner. All right, that's how we use the grid viewer and the grid tool in conjunction with each other. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'll see you next time.